Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited because I'm going to be sharing with you all of the things that I have either purchased for this trip or scurried away with our Disney World trip in mind. I have a massive pile sitting here beside me, so I'm just gonna dive right on in. So, I was going to try to have everything categorized by where I bought them and, you know, just all these things. It's not happening. <laughs> I have it all like massively piled beside me. So I'm just gonna pick things up and I will tell you where I bought them if it needs to be. I will link everything that I can below for you, um, but I will tell you that some of these things have been gifted to us or I have tried to locate them again, like recently to buy another one or whatever, and I haven't been able to do so. So I will let you know whenever I come upon those things, but um, I think most of them I will be able to link. So here we go. First things first, I want to start with a Disney item. Okay, here we go. So I was actually at my son's um, book fair tonight <laughs> where I found this for my daughter for the plane ride. I will tell you that this is going to be a pretty minimalistic um, pre-packing haul for you because I am an ADHD mom and I am not able to focus or even want to get into my bag if I have like a million and a half little toys and things just like jammed into my bag. It just stresses me out and I just like won't even get into it. So I'm really only gonna be bringing the bare minimum for my kids. So if that appeals to you, like, here you go. So this little booklet, it is a water wonder. So this little pen, you fill it up with water and then they can color on these little pages and it will come to life and then it will dry and then you can redo it later on, um, which is like, so the name of the game. And like I said, I can also use this at home. It doesn't have to just be on vacation. So I love that. I love that it's reusable also. So fun, fun. Like I said, I got this at my child's book fair tonight, but I'm sure you can find something exactly like it on Amazon. Okie dokie. Another thing I have sitting here, which is kind of fun, is I got this from a family member um, for Christmas this year. And it is just a 100th anniversary wallet by Loungefly. So it has all of the characters in here and on the pattern. And then on the back, it has obviously the Loungefly pendant thing and um, some characters on the back. And it has like the slot for money. It's got a pocket for change with a zipper. And then there's all these card holders. I plan on using this in my little mommy bag and I'm going to combine mine and my husband's wallets together. So there's less wallets floating around to keep track of. Um, we can just have all of our things in here. And um, I think that that will be really convenient and then I can put this to use. So there's another. Okay, one of the less fun things is, it's not not fun, but it's not special. I got a small thing of Dawn dish soap because we always get the resort mugs and if I get coffee at the resort in the morning to get myself going, if I drink something else out of that mug later on just by rinsing it out, it still tastes like coffee and I really just don't like that. I've learned from my experiences in the past. And so I wanted to get some soap on top of the fact that I do have kids and my daughter still uses a bottle, not a, like a baby bottle, but like a larger like nook bottle. And I'm just gonna need to be able to clean these things as, as well as my son having like a sippy cup and stuff. So long story short, I wanted to have something to wash things with. So there's that. I also bought quite a, I was going to say quite a bit of clothing for my kids. I really didn't. So I really actually only bought one outfit for my son because a lot of his summer clothes from last year will still fit him. Um, but I just got them from Walmart for very inexpensive. I think, yeah, this is $6 for these shorts. And then I got this t-shirt for $5, which I'm rounding up. So it's like $4.98 and then this is $5.98. But I thought that that was really cute and then the shorts will obviously match with the little orange really well and then on the back it says really good all the time so i just thought that that was really cute and he has a lot of clothes that will still fit him but i wanted to get him something for the trip to make him feel a little fresh so that's that okay my daughter is a year and a half and so last year 
her clothes will not fit her this year, the summer clothes that she had from last year. So I ended up having to buy more for her, um, but I, I went really cheap as well. So uh, first I wanna show these little sandals. Everybody's going to be bringing a pair of tennis shoes and a pair of sandals on our vacation. And so I got her these cute little jellies, which is just such a throwback for me because when I was like four or five, I was wearing these and I just love that. I can see my daughter wear them now. I think it's so cute. And they're just like clear with like little sparklies. So cute, so, so cute. So that's that, those are from Target. And let's dive into her clothing because her clothes are precious but all little clothes are precious to me. So first I have these little bike shorts. They're ribbed and they have the lettuce trim and um, they come in a bunch of different colors, but these were $3, so $2.98. I'm gonna round up with everything because it's easier that way. So I have that and then I got this little tank top that says you can be anything. So I figured that would be kind of a cute little outfit for her and her, well, she has an accessory that will go really well with these outfits that I will show in my vlogs. <laughs> so there's an outfit. I also have another pair of those same style bike shorts. Again, $3 for these. And then I got a little tank top. It's white, so she also has another accessory that will go with that little outfit very well. But they are both $3 each. So really inexpensive. I don't like to buy my kids super expensive clothing because... My kids are really hard on their clothes and I am not the kind of mom that will pull a bib out every single time that my kids are eating. Kudos to the moms who will do that, really. I just don't want to stress myself out that much. <laughs> so I, I don't do that, but I wish I did. Another little outfit that I have for her, it is another tank top, just like the little white one. So it has the lettuce trim and then the ribbed little um, texture to it. And then I got these little purple shorts because we're gonna do a little play on Boo from Monsters Inc. because she has another accessory for her hair that will go really cute with it. Which I can't wait to show those things because they're so cute, oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, so that's another little outfit for her. And then her last little outfit is, like I said, another little pair of bike shorts the same kind only in this little cute green color and then I got her this little t-shirt with the little I don't know what you would call that it's not like a lace but it, it has a name I can't recall what it is but I thought that that would be just kind of a little sweet cute little outfit I guess while I'm on her clothes I will show you they, those were all from Walmart this one was actually a little bit more expensive this little yellow shirt this was five dollars um but everything else was pretty much like three dollars so that is that while i'm on her clothing i will show you i picked this up this is actually from walmart from the granimals section and it was a six dollar around actually it was like five dollars and fifty cents originally and it's just it's got the same little um it's not lace but you get what i'm talking about um, I actually got it from Once Upon a Child for $1.50 and it was brand new. The stickers are all still on it. So that was a steal. So I figured that would be a nice little bonus outfit. And then I'm also going to be bringing this sweet little dress. This is actually from Target. It's a bluey dress, but it has this like little tulle material with little gold hearts all over it um, because we're going to be there for a special occasion. And so I wanted her to have a sweet little girly dress to wear. So that is that. I'm probably going to be bringing more clothes for her than this, but that's what I have scurried aside for her. I also had to pick up my kids some new swimming suits because, um, like I said, my daughter's swimming suit from last year will no longer fit her. And then I think my son is the same way. So I took it upon myself to get them somewhat correlating swimming suits. So I got this little gingham style lavender and white little swimming suit for my daughter. And it's got a little bow on the back and it's got this little, I don't know, what do you call this? Like a little frill. I don't know. 
but I just thought it was super duper cute. And then I got these swim shorts for my son and the sharks, some of the sharks on here are the same lavender colored purple as her swimming suit. And so it's kind of hard to tell on screen, but they're both from Target. They were actually on sale when I went and picked these up, but I would really doubt that the sale will be continuing still when this is posted. Um, but I definitely still feel like it is worth the look. If not full price, it was $15 and $13. $15 for my daughters, $13 for my sons. But I think I got them more like $8 and $9. So that's that. Um, I ended up ordering a universal rain cover for our stroller off of Amazon because I saw, I mean, Florida it rains all the time anyways. But I think that I saw that it's supposed to rain more in March and April because it's spring. I don't know. I don't know if that's the case or not. But um, I figured better safe than sorry. So it's a universal style one. I do plan on filming a stroller setup video. So if you're interested to see how that will fit, you will find out on that video. So stay tuned for that. I also picked up this for entertainment because I thought it was super cute. It's just a little thing of bubbles and my kids will be outside a lot and this will keep them entertained. We do have a bubble wand from a previous trip. I don't know if I plan on bringing it, but we do have it. <laughs> so that's that. <laughs> um, I also, I don't know if I've shared much about entertainment. Oh yeah, I did share the water wonder thing. These... I'm sure there's a million videos out there about them. This is also for plain entertainment for my son. It's just one of these, I don't know what they're called. It's a little tablet type situation. You color on it, you click the little whale button and it disappears and then you can use color again. We have two of them. We have a pink one and then obviously a blue one, but the pink one, the little pin is not attached to this little string. So I'm just gonna bring the blue one but I'm bringing each of them their own little books as well. So they both can have something to draw on and then both can have something to read. So I think it'll work out just fine. So that is that. Okay, so I had a Mickey monthly subscription. Oh, I don't know if I said this or not, but this was a gift from my mother-in-law for Christmas. I'm really not sure where she ended up getting it from, but you can find these things anywhere. Like, really, you can probably find them on Amazon or, I don't know, like I said, anywhere. Um, with these ears, I got these for my Mickey monthly subscription box. If you haven't seen that, I will link that above for you. But they're just the aerial ears. I don't know if they're, oh yeah, okay. I've never worn them because I haven't been back to the parks since receiving them. But it says mermaid hair don't care on here. And then on the other side is Ariel. And I just think that they are darling. I actually bought a specific outfit to match with these. So if you want to see what that looks like, I think that'll probably, I'm going to be filming a outfits for Disney video on my, I think that'll be the next video that I post. So if you want to see what I plan on wearing to Disney, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. But I just thought that these are super duper cute. Like, straight up obsessed. I'm really not like a huge ear wearer. I don't wear ears all that often. Um, but I just thought that these are too cute to not. And I actually, I want to wear ears more. So yeah, that's that. I think that they are adorable and I can't wait to wear them. Okie dokie. I have some, again, not super duper fun, but still things that I bought. Some little Nook bottles. They're like a transition from a bottle to a sippy. But um, my daughter has one of these and she likes it a lot. So I'm trying to get her more because if she likes it, might as well get her more of them. So there's this one. It's like a little generic princess pattern. And then I also bought her a Minnie Mouse pattern because why not? She also has a Mickey one already. So when in Rome. Okay, and that was from Walmart, so if that means anything to you. Something I bought off of Amazon is this little, it's a, it's a little sunglass holder, 
as a little bit of extra protection. So you just push it in. You're really supposed to push it in and then it'll open. And then it came with a little wipes. It's like a little cloth so you can wipe your lenses. I just got it for a little extra protection in my bag so that way they don't get all like scratched up or you know whatever will happen inside of a bag with some glasses um and they were like five dollars off of amazon and i think i got a pack of two for five dollars i think that sounds right i'm trying to pile it all up here so it's out of the way because it doesn't want to get it in this pile i also have these as far as sunglass accessories go it is just like a little rubber thing you put over the ends of your sunglasses like the little legs of your sunglasses that way you can kind of put it around your head and if you lean forward it's not like your sunglasses will fall and hit the ground i need them for when i'm picking up my kids and stuff because if they're not if my sunglasses aren't tight enough they will just slide right off my face or my daughter will also try to grab them off my face and throw them sometimes because she's just at that age. And so these are just really nice. And then also I don't like to hang my sunglasses from my collar. I'd much rather them just like hang around my neck. So yeah, and it's adjustable. So yeah, I think I got a pack of six or 10 of these for like $9 off of Amazon. And then you can get them in multiple, like a bunch of different colors, like color options. So that is that. Okay, so I did end up placing a small order from Timu just to give them a chance, like just to give them a try. I know there's mixed reviews about Timu, so I'll let you make your mind up on that on your own. I don't really have any kind of real opinion, so don't don't really look to me for an opinion <laughs> but first is my first thing is kind of unusual so this is actually for a beach bag you're supposed to clip this to the strap of your beach bag and then use this little clip here to clip your sun hat to your beach bag so it can just hang outside of your bag i bought it to clip my daughter's muslin blanket to my stroller so my daughter is a is a thumb sucker and so when she comforts herself she really likes to have like a muslin blanket to kind of like snuggle with and it just makes her i don't know it just helps her self soothe so instead of bringing like 15 of them for every single time one of them hits the floor i bought this to clip it to my stroller so that way it doesn't either fall out or she can't throw it out we'll see how this goes i don't i haven't actually even pulled my stroller up to see how i can clip it to it <laughs> so We'll see, like I said, I do plan on doing a stroller setup review, so we will figure that one out together. But um, that is what that I, that's what I bought it for. And it was really cheap. It was like, I wanna even say like less than a dollar, but I don't know, that could be wrong. Something else I bought off of Timu were these little Minnie Mouse ears. So my daughter is not really a headband wearer. So getting her, you know, like the headband ears probably really wouldn't like, work for her but I bought these little clips and she loves these so I just put her hair up in little piggies and clip them and it's adorable it's so cute now I messed up my hair but I got her these which this is what I was talking about putting with her little black in her black bike shorts with the white tank I think that this would just be adorable so I have those and then I also bought the same things only these are pink so it's like a pink fluffy ear with a pink sequin bow super adorable so bought both of those off of timu as well they were like a dollar 90 each so super duper cheap i also bought this little medicine cabinet it's like a travel size medicine cabinet I actually got this to go in my mommy bag because I always have like a first aid kit with us. Um, but if I am ever away from the diaper bag and can't get to the actual first aid kit, at least I will have some medications on hand. So I don't know how much this was. I think it was like $4. Super duper cheap. Self-explanatory. I also decided to get a tech bag because this trip I will not have a camera to vlog with because i'm still on the hunt for a good vlogging camera i've talked about that like on every single video recently 
but I still will have like stroller fans and things like that that will need to be charged as well as just like phone chargers and ex like, you know, travel chargers, what are those called? External batteries, you know, that sort of thing. So it has a bunch of pockets um, for, you know, whatever you might need them for. So lots of storage. It's just, it'll work for now. I'll probably have to get something a little bit bigger once I get my new camera. So on the entertainment front for my son, uh, we actually received this as a gift one year, but it says, where's Mickey? It's a look and find book. So there's a bunch of different scenes. So it has all these different locations. I don't know if the reflection is really going to show really well. But then it has all of the Fab Five for you to find in different scenes. And then in the back here, it actually shows, um, has the answers for you. And then it has more characters and objects that you can find in all these different things. It has each, you know, each location listed and then who all you can find or what you can find in each one. So it's pretty neat. We sat there and looked at that for like a couple of hours when we first bought it or when we first received it. And it was really fun. That is not from Timu. I think I said that already. It's not from Timu. It is something we received as a, as a gift. Okay, so this is actually from Costco. It is this Disney block book. Also, I apologize for everything being backwards. I'm having to use my front camera to record. So it has all of the different Disney stories in here and there's about two pages for each story um, and it's just it's really neat so I actually got this for my daughter to kind of get familiar with the different characters because you know she's little and so she doesn't really watch TV yet and so having something so she can kind of familiarize herself with the characters and I don't know I just thought it would be kind of fun I can read to her she can look she can flip through it Something else that I thought was kind of neat about this book, it says, can you find all of the hidden Mickeys on the back here? So each little scene has hidden Mickeys in here. So here's one there. I don't know how well you can see that. But it just has like little hidden Mickeys in each scene. It's just really cute. So um, I think I got this for $10 at Costco. Um, but I'm sure you can find something very similar to this on Amazon as well. So, see, like, Costco is one of those places where they have things seasonally a lot. So, it's kind of, like, up in the air as far as what is ava available still and, you know, what's not. Something I also bought from Timu is this little travel jewelry box. You can get something very similar from Target. But it has these little prongs and then a little pocket here for your necklaces to be organized, rings, earrings, you know, however you want to do those. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on that because they're these are a dime a dozen. Um, my mommy bag. So I also got this off of Timu and I plan on using it for myself on our trip. So it has lots of storage. There's this little front pocket here. And then there's another pocket and this is a pocket and let's see the last big pocket. So I actually, I have my, I've been wearing it around to try to see how I like it, how I like to wear it. And so far so good. It does have a back large pocket in here and it does like go up in like there's some space up here. But I've been carrying it around with my tripod just to see how well it fits because I am going to be vlogging on this trip as well as obviously having my large, I have a large wallet that I keep in there. So it actually fits quite a lot um, and it has a lot of storage space. So I actually really do like it. My only complaint is that it's made to go over your, over me this way when I'm used to everything fitting me this way. <laughs> So it's really just getting used to that. I did also attach, just because I thought it was cute, my 50th anniversary keychain from, I think it was what, 2020, early 2022. Um, I just thought that that was super cute. So 
that is that and that is from Timu and then lastly from Timu I ended up buying some packing cubes for this trip I do have some already but I figured having more will do us well I bought them for really cheap I think they're like six dollars for six of them so there's three that are actual cubes and then there's three that are different sized bags um so i do plan on doing a packing video if you want to see how these work out subscribe and then the last thing i have to share is my new petunia pickle bottom diaper bag i have a full video about this diaper bag that i can link above for you but I do plan on showing you how I plan to pack this for the airport and travel and everything like that. So if you're very curious on that, please stick around. I have a lot of things coming, but it's just a giant diaper bag, but it, it, it's slim and it's just lovely. It's, I've been using it for the past week and we are thoroughly obsessed with this diaper bag. It has been perfect 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 so I imagine it will be just as perfect for our vacation so that is actually everything that I plan on sharing I did buy some clothing but I plan on doing a separate video about the clothes that I plan on bringing which I think I've already mentioned and then I've mentioned quite a few other um, videos that I plan on coming out with before our trip so if you are interested in any of those things I suggest that you stick around and hang out and we're going to be vlogging this trip so that is going to be like so much fun i'm just i'm very 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 excited it's getting so close that i'm just like chomping at the bit so anyways i i will see you in the next video there's going to be quite a few of them coming so i'm not going to tell you to stay any more than i already have but Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for going through all the things that I've bought or scurried away for this vacation. And um, I hope to see you guys in the next one.